Hey, bottom bumpers, what's in the hook? Today, we're out here, just out here, kind of going to talk about baits. Kind of, kind of say when we're going to use these baits and when, like, when we, why we're using them. See the big bow here behind us. I'm going to get my first box. It's a jig box and a chatterbait box. First one, uh, like a, a green pumpkin and a tiny bit of orange just stuck in there. It should look like this, sitting on the bottom. It's kind of like that. I don't know what these things like this instead. Yeah, like that. That's how it should look in the bottom. It's just kind of like jig jig. That, I would use it in clear water. Like, that's how it should look on the bottom, and I would use it in clear water. Like, clear. Clear. Red and black jig. Dirty water. I would put a trailer on it, like that other one. Should look the same on the bottom. A little bit with a red and black one. A little bit of red and black jig. I would use it when the water's dirty. Uh, you know, it works good for when the water's dirty. This is the last color. and the, Yeah, it's the last color. Or, or black and blue. For sure when the water's dirty and with black and blue. So it's like that on the bottom. And all these right, a lot of them right here just stay like that. And they go... Yeah, black and blue, right when the water's dirty. That's all I can say. White, yellow, and gray chatterbait. I don't sleep just every minute, man. And, um, this chatterbait. It's, uh, this one is water's dirty or when the water's clear. Um,. Green and purple chatterbait. And the water is about like in between dirty, in between clear. Got a little bit of purple on the bottom of it. Got green pumpkin on the top of it. Is that all? I got a black and blue chatterbait, which is when the water's dirty. I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere. That's, that's all about that box. Okay, put it up here. Guys, I'm trying. I'm trying. Next up, worm box. Worm box. Uh, black worm. What I like to do with these. I don't like to just straight wacky rig them. I like to get them on a wacky rig with like a small weight. I'll keep this and show you how I did it. Um, that's all for that one. A purple one. I sometimes use it on a Carolina rig. I don't really know when to use it. Like, I don't know when to use it like this. It's like just, it's a curly tail worm you can see. What's all about that? A uh, tube. Use it for smallmouth, and this color I would use when the water's clear. Uh, this is a green pumpkin. You could use a weightless or like on a Texas rig, biffle bug. I think no, it's not a biffle bug. What is it? What is it? Beaver. Oh, it's a beaver bait. I think this is what I was using on the back of those jigs. It really works. Um, it doesn't work, but it looks good. I don't know. I've never actually tried that jig like it. It's worked before, though. Green lizard. When the water's clear, just kind of drag it on the bottom. We're just going to shake it. And there it goes. Let's shake. This is a, like a red flake worm. Put on Texas rig. Or put a weightless or wacky wig it. Or wait. Wacky rig it. That's all about that worm box. I got one more coming up. 
take this worm with me. I thought you had some of it. Water box. Um, use this. It's just a buzz toad. Reel it. Make the same. Do that. Buzz toad. Make it do the same thing. Buzz bait. Only this one's got more. It's gonna make more sound. Same thing. Oh, this buzz bait. Same thing. Rivet frog. The no, white budget bait same same thing. Walking bait. Do that. Uh, I don't know what the heck that is. Popper. Pop, pop, pop. That's all you gotta do with that, for sure. Frogs. Uh, so the smallest frog I have. Ooh. Most frog I have is that little honey. Biggest, biggest frog I have is this little honey. No, that's the second biggest frog I have. Biggest frog is this, which I never caught fish on. That black one I caught fish on. Uh, I saw about that. Bay and one swim bait. White jerk bait. Search for swim bait. I mean, not swim bait, jerk bait. Swim bait. Tell me, Jimmy. Here's another short bait I have. I got a swivel right here like you're gonna do on Carolina wigs. I gotta wait. Um, this hook I use for Texas hooks all the time. Uh, this is a mag rig. I mean, uh, what do you call those things? Shaky head. Shaky head. This is what I was thinking about that. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, I keep putting it in. Use this for a tube. Little uh, hook for tubes. Rock and boy worm. I like to use these for a weighted. Oh, we go. Weighted. Like, I don't remember. And we got this thing, which is short. And I would like to use it for a weighted wacky rig. That's what I like those too. But watch this. This is a Z Man one. How do you do that? It's like 
Z, the Z ones, the Z-Man ones, you can hardly break. It's like, a fish ain't gonna break them almost. It's like, but they're so shaky. Z-Man, thanks for making these things. Because they really work and the fish you really ain't gonna buy them in half. Flukes. These are small flukes. So. Or bait fish. Swim bait box. Nothing really to deserve for that, but we're good. We're not. Crankbait box. There's a really nice crankbait in here I want to talk about. Just this one though. Dirty water right here. I haven't used it yet because it's so good. And uh, the water just hasn't been dirty. So, uh, and then this crawl box. This one it has black and blue and this on it. So I'll use it for dirty water. I mean, green pumpkin. This one has orange and green pumpkin on it. Dirty water. This one has, this is all black and blue in a full size. And this is green pumpkin and black and blue on one side. So, that's my curl box. And that's all the boxes I want to talk about today. So, um, that's pretty much all. And so, comment down below if you want some more bait fishing videos. Um, yeah, I, I haven't got to do a lot of those. Make sure you subscribe to my videos, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.